State. The Buckeyes are not only stocking a Big Ten championship, but the stakes are soaring this week. The Buckeyes have jumped Miami. They are now number two in the BCS standings. Mike Nugent, perfect this season as far as field goals are concerned. Chambers back deep for the Boilermakers. And with that wind, Nugent drives it completely out of... Kyle Orton steps up under center. Brandon Kirsch, even though he broke a bone in his throwing hand, is ready to play. They complete the first pass underneath. We had a, uh, a penalty, a personal foul on the kickoff return, and that's going to give the Boilermakers a short field to work with here, Gary. No, it was on the first play, Brent. Mike... It'll be second down. Have three down linemen, the Buckeyes. You can see him move into a gap, and a penalty flag comes flying. The Buckers, at Ohio State doesn't have to go as much nickel and dime. Again, three down linemen. And it is complete just short of midfield. That is Taylor Stubblefield. Third and seven in the defensive back. Gets ready now. They're about six yards off the line of scrimmage on Ohio State. And right at the first down marker. First down for Purdue. Joey Harris, the lone running back, behind Orton. Orton to throw it. Complete first down. Toss. Stretch. Bangs for the first down. Now Orton getting a chance after Kirsch broke a hand in a fraternity incident. And he picks up a yard and he's driving Purdue with the opening drive of the game. It is second down and eight. Pocket held complete inside the 20-yard line. Stubblefield. Take him right out of the game. Before the play, the whistle. Our referee. He's got a great view of the 25 second clock. Orton should not five wide outs. Got the hitch again to the bottom. There it is. To the 15 yard line. And the ball is at the Buckeye 15. And now it is third. Got down inside of five seconds. Intercepted in the corner. Picked off Dustin by Fox. Dustin Fox. I tell you. Up behind the fullback. The freshman from Youngstown, Ohio. Play action. And caught by Michael Jenkins. 300 pounds in the middle. And Claret tries to cut to daylight a little bit tentative. Childress in his eight. Wide receiver, and here comes Claret. Claret, short of the first down. Third down and two for the Bucks, and they jumped Claret, who did not get it. Team in the ACC, tough game. Figures to be close. Andy Groom, with the wind at his back, it still goes on into the end zone. Andy Jones, a redshirt freshman. Got guy, roll him so quick on the bubble screen. Watch him how quick he is. Chambers, first down. Red hot with the pass. This Brandon Jones. It is second down, and Purdue needs only a yard. They'll try to run for it, and they're not going to get there. There is that tremendous front. Condition of Claret, who tried to give it a go here today. Just short of the first down again is Jones, and here comes Claret dashing back on the field, Jack. Now punting defense. has really troubled Purdue. This time against the breeze, Slayton drives it beautifully. Can they knock it down inside the 10? They do. That he's hoping holds up here today. Now it is first down, and the front for Purdue. Second down and nine. The 21-yard line is Gamble. First down and 10 at the 21-yard line. 
There's the play fake. Krenzel with lots of time. Sends it downfield, and he overthrew Michael Jenkins. Iowa State formation. Second down. Ross. Slanting to the 25. Third down. Over the middle for the first down to Hartsock, the tight end. The spokesman, a rally guy for the uh, for the Buckeyes. Krenzel goes back now. Wants his wide receiver in complete. Here comes the safety up right there. Slash to the side, Ross the running back. Out of bounds. Ross the running back. Three wide. High ricochet intercepted at the 44 yard line. To the leaders. The middle linebacker with the ricochet interception. I have wide Boilermakers. Coming back to the middle. And at the 17-yard line. He knows the folks at home are watching. And all those Greeks are lined up watching Nico. And the offense for Purdue has a first and goal. Double field comes over to a wing position, and he blocks for him. Orton fires this one out of bounds. They put a fullback in for Harris. Running play, looks for a hole to the four-yard line. This. They know that Orton's... Stationary target fired behind, incomplete. And nothing is a gimme against this breeze and with this Purdue kicking game this year. Well, that was a good looking field goal. Lashevac puts the Boilermakers ahead by three, but Ohio State has to feel very good about this. Purdue has threatened twice, and they've scored only three points. Let's send you to New York now and John Sander. The Krenzel interception. Purdue's going to pooch this kick. No kick. The short man down right there at the... Uh... So Claret is back in the game. He's the lone running back. Buckeyes trail it. There's the play fake. Krenzel going to come deep once. Gamble! Stepped out of bounds. That's 22 yard pass. First down. Krenzel. Dropped. It is second down. Drew Carter in as the split end. Krenzel wants Claret, who bobbled it. And that allowed the defender the end of the opening quarter. Fox with a splendid interception. But Purdue responded. Could have been easy, and that set up a field goal on our only score. Timeout. Really did. Wisconsin had him on the run. Jenkins had to make the big catch. And uh, you see Purdue right here. They don't have him comfortable right yet right, at all. Look at that. that. Just roped him. Nesfield. The Buckeyes with their hands full. Oh, God, God. Broom drives it into the breeze, and it's out of bounds. Covering a receiver Purdue does not throw to. That's who they throw it. Right there. And Chamberlain slashes. Here comes Harris. First down. Pocket stays from wide open sideline. Harris, the running back. Speed actually keeps that from being a much bigger player, Doss does. And uh, Gary, it's 143 total yards and counting mm -hmm. this season to Iowa State in Iowa City. That's your conference difference right now. Harris trying to get a lane, and he crosses the 30-yard line. Third down conversions. Iowa State is blitzing. Right at the mark. This is the time when that yellow line really plays to your advantage, that first and ten line. You can absolutely watch them bang for it. Boy, they were thrown right back. That was bull. This guy or this guy? Horton on the move, throwing well. Just good early in a couple of games against Maryland and Michigan State for us. Second down here for Purdue. Orton fires right at that first down marker. Joey Harris is back in on this third and one. Orton to throw for it. 
Now it is fourth down. This is a 36 yarder. Now that breeze has turned around a little bit though as you can see on that win graphic. No good. Well you can second guess Joe Tiller on that one folks. It was fourth in the yard. A lot of folks in the stands felt, Joe, you should have gone for it. Timeout. He needed to throw the ball before Williams was ready to catch it. Ross, the running back for the. You're not thinking about the Illini no. right now. Hands full with the Boilermakers. Ross again going nowhere. Third down and four for the Bucks. Gambles the motion man. Got Gamble again. What a beautiful reception by Gamble. Brenzel is 7 of 11. Coming back with Claret. Stretching the defense, his best run of the game. Second down and two. And Claret is thrown for a loss. God. <laughs> Folks, the reason why the total was so low, he was a wishbone quarterback. <laughs> Let me be honest about that. The ball at the 42-yard line as the, the Buckeyes penetrate. Purdue territory finally in the penalty flag. All with 7-10 to go. Back to snap. Full start. Offense. First down. And there's that draw play in Claret. I'll tell you, Claret is not finishing his runs. Like Back he comes. Steps out of bounds. Buckeyes with a third and one. And they give Claret. A fullback and an H-back, a power formation, and Claret just sort of stutter stepped as Schweiger. Beth Morales is back <laughs> to field Groom's punt. A couple years ago here, he caught that pass thrown by Drew Brees. So they, they, they might even want to take one here and back Groom up five yards. If I was. game, offense. <laughs> <laughs> Now here's Morales. He'll make the fair catch. He'll step up sure-handed. Gamble still on the field. He's played every snap defensively. He also has four tackles on that incompletion. And here's Orton. Complete. Right. That's why I reached down to get the skill set. First down and ten. Jones in as running back. Remember, the, that's what we knew. Yep. He was a defender and a ball player. Chambers and run down. Wilhelm makes a slashing stop for 150 yards and spreading the ball around. Throwing well. Not that time. Intercepted at the 41 yard line. Wilhelm's second pick of the year. Barrett is the is the running back. He gets the call. There's an alley. And he is just short of the 35-yard line. Second down and four for Krinzel and the Bucks. Correct. To the 32-yard line. And they load with a fullback. Show power eye. They bring it. Swagger it again. To the 30-yard line for the first down. Here's a play fake by Krenzel, and it's a good one, but can he find an open man? Good enough. I know they have uh, Mike Nugent, who's been perfect this season, but uh, this would be against a stiff breeze. Krenzel going to run out. He's got daylight. Coletta ahead of him. He cuts inside the 15 for a first down. They would go for a field goal. They certainly wouldn't be punting down here, would they? There it is. He throws that one away. And Childress is the third receiver. There's the draw with Claret. To about the 12 yard line. This is third down. Oh, Scrant. And he's short of the first down. They got to hurry this unit on the field. This is fourth down. That was a very strange call. They're rushing. They've got three seconds. They've got to get it down for Nugent. They got to hurry. They signal good. And I'll tell you, Purdue's on the field screaming. They are screaming. It looked like time had run out. Joe Tiller is livid. 
No way Krenzel did that on his. On, that was not a Gary, called play. Gary, I, Gary that was not there a is no play. way there was time left when he kicked the ball. And this is our line copy. This is what we saw. Now here is one second. Now, we're slowing it down. There it is. It's frozen. They didn't get it off. Oh, no, they snapped that ball. They snapped that ball. Yes, they did. did that they? ball was off. That ball was off. It was, you know. I think that's the key. Mistakes, little things. I talked about it in the open. The pressure is mounting. And on a short kickoff, Claret the leading rusher, but only 39 yards. First carry, Claret cuts away. Good looking run here. And he powers his way hard for the first down. And they come back with Ross. Constant factor. Claret back in the game. And he seems to be picking up his tempo a little bit, and now he's hurt again. Now he's going off. There it is. And uh, there is that nerve problem, the stinger. And that, that thing is going to just be sprung all year. So Lydell Ross. Oh. Still loose. I think Ross got it back. Landon Johnson. Andy Groom hangs it toward the end zone. Look at that end, take the ball. Five touchdowns and only one interception. Now on first down, he's back in the shotgun. Five wide for Tiller's wide open attack again. And Kirsch completes his first throw for second and seven. Two tight ends. Kirsch throws underneath for the first down. Joey Harris slip. First down and ten. A splint and tape. The bone that is broken is above the little finger. A metacarsal. And here is Kirsch on the run that Gary told you about. And up behind his center, he's got to work on the clock. And he waited too long. That'll cost them five yards the for delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. So it is second down. <laughs> Underneath, this will not be a first down. Fires complete into Buckeye territory. The 46. Doss off the field. That is a big hole in this Buckeye defense. And Kirsch. <laughs> Second down. Penalty flag is thrown on the toss to Harris. Before the snap. He looks to the short side, middle. And Chambers, I believe, is short of it. Yep. It is fourth and a long yard for the first down. Let's go! Into the breeze and a fair catch at the 11 by Chris Gamble. <laughs> first down for the Bucks. Now Krenzel facing a pressure situation, hands it off now to Ross. Speaking of Krenzel, second down and a six, as we heard from the uh, tight end talking about the. The quarterback who is now so experienced, and here is Ross. It is third and five. Prinzel throwing just a touch high and for Purdue to win this game. It's gone. And Groom, I think I said the win was at his back. Chambers driven out. Two more quarters against Purdue, and that's one touchdown over the last 12 quarters. That's phenomenal. And second and 10. Doss back in the game. And Kirsch slips away. But Grant, third down. <laughs> Kirsch fires high. And complete, but short of the first down. Well, he got a great mark. He got a great spot. 
and the coaches are letting the line judge know about it on that side and Purdue comes back with Harris. Harris is stopped penalty flag and they are and play for the national championship and right now they are ranked second remember but they are under fire. Here's Kirsch got a lot of time fires into a crowd and it is incomplete. He wants to come on this one. They block it. They block it. Doss moved over, and the blocker went for him, and the man to his right came in and blocked the punt. Doss coming down hard. Ohio State needed a play. They got a play from Jenkins. Usually does it as a receiver. This time he did it on the block punt. Now can the offense finish with a short field? Here comes Ross. He slashes to the 35. Second down and eight. Fumble the snap. Purdue jumped it, I believe. The snap was fumbled as Krenzel was pulling out. Oh, no, God. they got it. Let's see if they come with a pressure. They got there. There's the sack. Sean Phillips, who has played a tremendous game from Groom. Dangerous on the run. Morales down inside the 10 yard line. Coming out with a first down with Kirsch and the offense. And just content to run at that front wall. Shaken up leaves. Brandon Jones is in as the running back. Well, I, I'm wondering about this. The Ohio State defense giving the unbeaten Buckeyes a chance. And we'll have the fourth quarter after this message and a word from our ABC stations. As we begin the fourth quarter. Third down and six for Purdue and freshman quarterback Brandon Kirsch. High snap, brings it down, fires, short of the first down. And now Childers pulls back out just in case. This one is off, and here comes Gamble. Gamble from the 37-yard line crosses midfield. Now he darts back, gives up yardage, a mistake. Ball's on the ground at the 45. They're going to whistle it down, and let's see. Forward progress, yes. Connecticut has played a whale of a game. A loss. Second down now on the 11. So they line Ross up and they're going to run him. And the defense read it perfectly. They smelled that play. Will this be the day? He now faces third down. Can't find an open target. And the Buckeyes will put it away. His bracket. Now it's Groom versus Chambers. Into the wind. It'll come out. 20-yard line. Meanwhile, it is Kirsch under center. Play fake roll to the right. Hey. Has great time. Wide open. Got him at the 43-yard line. Out of bounds at the 21 is Ray Williams. He's the running back for the Boilermakers. Gets the call. Hole on the right side. And he pounds to the 17-yard line. Driven the Boilermakers inside the 20-yard line. Jones, Daylight, still battling his way to the 13-yard line. Game going on with the Naval Academy leading Notre Dame. Here's third down and short. And Jones able to pound for it. Hirsch managing the game up front. Going to use Jones, slashes Daylight, spins. He has been the toughest running back. Minutes, second down. Jones slashes. Crosses the five yard line to the Here is third down. Here it is. And Wilhelm is not full. Wilhelm throws him down at the 15 yard line. This is a 27 yarder and a penalty. Flag. Flag. Stop the play. Flag. 
Burn to the snap. False start. Yes. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains fourth down. And Washevic with the 32-yard attempt. It's gone. Slides it through. now. Gamble will take a knee. Maurice Hall gets his first shot at the tailback spot. He's the third tailback. Fake pitch. Prinzel hit. Complete for 11 yards. Do just that right now. On a first down after the completion by Prinzel. Middle's wide open. And Jenkins... Purdue shows blitz. Penzo with the side open on the run. Complete again to Childress. He reaches midfield. Let's see if he does. Paul tripped up. Keeps his balance. And somehow down by a field goal. Play fake. Penzo's going to throw for it. If he can get it off. So Joe, the fullback, is right there. Morales lets it roll. And I'll be back on the seven-yard line. For Brandon Jones and Brandon Kirsch, two fellas named Brandon, will try to save the day. Here comes Jones, and the Buckeyes eat him up. Second down and nine. Tight formation. Come back with the run. Jones goes nowhere. Right. Four minutes. Third down. Kirsch from his own end zone. Throws complete to the 10. Move against the Purdue defense. Doss in the middle of the field. Now they're trying to come through again. Take it there. What a punt. Gamble from the 34. Approaches midfield. And he is down at the 46-yard line. Maurice Hall, the running back. Prinzel back in the gun. It's going to be airborne, but he can't get it off. Sacked at midfield. Incomplete. Hooks on. Motion gamble. Prinzel fires wide open. Got most of it back. They're going to put him up underneath center, though. They're going to show the eye back behind the fullback here at fourth down. Could be up to the offensive line. No, Prince is going to throw for it. Got to get it off. They go for the ball game. Touchdown! Touchdown! Michael Jenkins on fourth and one. Would you believe? Jenkins did it against Northwestern. He did it against Wisconsin. He did it against Penn State. And take a look at the man that Gary Daniels had just talked about. He's a junior from Tampa, Florida. He has just enough daylight on Rodgers to make the catch. And the Buckeyes save themselves an undefeated season with a marvelous pass-catch play. Mike Nugent nails the extra point. 36 is left. Now we want to watch this quarterback, Craig Krenzel. Nugent drives it against the wind. Take a knee, but he almost came out. It'll be on the 20 yard line. Kyle Orton's in. Fires to the 34 yard line. And on the first down, Breeze took it on a, on a touchdown, a deep touchdown. Let's see if it happens again. Morton stands in that pocket. Can't find an open man. So he has to throw it away, and it'll be second down and 10. In the closing minutes, second down and 10. 
Horton stands tall, fires in underneath. Won't get it done. Short of the first down. The we move inside of a minute. Horton can't find the open man. Gonna go deep for the home run. Gamble's got it at the 10 yard line. Chris Gamble, the two way player, slashes across. And the Buckeyes are gonna head to Champaign, Illinois, unbeaten next week. With the clock. Desperate to get the ball back. Krinzel bashes to the 15. Ball in his arms. They'll put the vote now in the hands of the writers and the broadcasters. All the Buckeyes have to do is take a knee. And let me just say, start going wild, Columbus. Start your party now, folks, because this one's long gone. The Buckeyes stay unbeaten, and they do it the hard way. Tressel trotting across the field, looking for his friend, Coach Tiller. There they are. Tiller obviously disheartened, but offers congratulations. There is just a foot of daylight. Krinzel puts it there, caught, touchdown. The Buckeyes go to Champaign, and so do Gary and I. We'll follow the saga of the unbeaten Buckeyes. So long.